Welcome back to Bolt Action Bunker and in this video I'm going to be building my Warhound Titan. So welcome back, so in this video I'm going to be building my Warhound Titan. Um, I've had this a long time, um, I bought this when I went up to Forge World. I got it back, I was excited, I wanted to build it, I wanted to paint it. And then I opened the box and thought, that's a big model. <laughs> and I didn't really want to muck it up or take it on straight away. So it's been a little while, so I thought well this weekend I'm going to make a big start at this and uh, try and get this get this built um, and then that way I can decide what colours I'm going to paint it and how I'm going to paint it. So uh, let's have a quick look in the box and um, I'm going to show you me building it. Okay so let's uh, have a quick look in the box. The box itself is a nice built box. Um, nice big envelope here, there's some instructions um, inside this envelope uh, is the uh, Warhound certificate and it gives you the number of your Warhound and um, a little bit of bump there. So that's all nice, all really good. It's uh, special for each Warhound. Uh, got the instructions there. Um, they're not that detailed, but I'm guessing the parts are gonna be quite big. So hopefully it won't be too difficult to put together. Inside this box, uh, there's loads of bags with um, all the parts in, ball joints, guns. I can't really can't remember what guns I bought for this Warhound. I think I've got a couple of options, so I'll have a look in a minute and see what we've got. I'm just looking at this. There's some nice bits here. All nice bags. The cockpit section. More trim and armour. Looks really good. A big bag of little bits. So details there on there. More joints. Another gun option there. Looks good. Uh, there's another gun. So that one. What's that one? That's the plasma. So I must have bought three went so that's the plasma option more guns uh, little bits and pieces there pistons and that all nice don't look too much like clearing up on there but until you get in there we never know until we start this build and uh, looks like a bit more body work and that's it <laughs> so it's quite big pieces Hopefully it will go together quite easy. Uh, I'm looking forward to it now. So I've got to start breaking this lot away, cleaning it up and um, giving it a quick wash. I think you've got to wash this down. So um, I'll do all that. And then we can um, start putting some of this together. So really looking forward to it now. Um, some nice bits there. And... Uh, like I say, it's been a long time since I since I actually had this out and had a look at it and did, bought it. So uh, yeah, so that's nice. Okay, so that's what you get in the box. Um, I'm going to start prepping some of this model and then I can show you putting it together, which will be a nice video. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. So I'll see you soon. Okay, so I've got most of... Uh the Titan off the sprue now and I've started to clean it all up um, this is the torso section so we've got the two sides the main bit of the cockpit and uh, the front end uh, the two weapons uh, holders so the weapons hang off the ball joints here um, now with it <clears throat> there's a couple of little bits that are a little bit out of shape, some of it had to be filed off. There's definitely a lot of filing and sort of playing around with it. If anybody, so if anybody's used uh, the 
resin from uh, Forge World. You know, it sort of most of it fits where it touches, and you've either got to bend bits, um, play around with bits, file bits, make them nice. Well, that's okay. You can warm these up and um, manipulate them a little bit when they're thin and moving like that. But I think um, a great big chunk of resin like that, I'm not going to be able to get much movement on it. And I don't really want to go breaking it, so um, I've just filed it off the best I can and make it up. So I'm going to make the torso up, I think. Um, it says start off with the legs, but the legs look fairly simple and they all hang off the bottom of the torso anyway, which I'm going to magnetise. So I'm going to get this made up here. Um, this seems to be the most fiddly bit because of the way it all fits together. And just a quick look at all the rest of it. So you see the ball joints for the legs, uh, the armour plate in for the tops, uh, the guns are at the back there. So there's lots of stuff. I've got all the small little tiny little bits of detail on the pistons. They're still on the sprue because some of those are still uh, all labelled. So I'm going to leave them on the sprue for a bit. But just coming back to the torso, so that's what I'm going to build next. Uh, I'm going to put this together, the torso, and um, I'll show you how that comes out. So I've cut the started to do the feet. These are the feet sections. Uh, we've cut cut them all off the sprue. I've just laid them out. Make sure I've got everything there. So toe, front piston, uh, extension of the toe, and the movement of the bits. The pistons here, the main bit of the foot, and uh, the back toe of it is there so there's nothing no pistons or anything on that um, quick look at the second section so you can see uh, they're all marked up toe these didn't have any markings on but you can recognize uh, they were the piston sections so that's that um, the ankle sections that are coming up next they're all marked as well I've laid all those out so the ankle sections are all here ready to go, ready to be cut out and used. So that's the foot, and then what I'll do, I'm gonna put this together. Um, I don't know about gluing too much of it in case you need to move it a little bit. Um, all these are cut to length as you need them. So the pistons, if, if you want the toe lifted up a little bit, you need to cut this piston short um, and, and move them around. So not quite sure how we're gonna go with that, but that's what the foot looks like, all out in sections. So uh, I'll have a little play with that and we'll move on. There we go, there's both feet made. So I've made them up. Some lovely detail here. All the pistons are in. Um, they're all glued now. So I've got this one fairly flat. So I've made this one fairly flat, just lifted, lifted the foot plate just a fraction off the floor. Give a little bit of depth on that one. And on this foot, I've decided to go with quite a, quite a quite a, uh, elevation uh, with the toes pushed out. And again, uh, nice detail all on the pistons. Had to cut these ones short. So they were full length. These were just cut short. Um, and that looks really nice. So um, that is the two feet done now. So uh, the next section are the legs and um, the lower body so um, I'm going to sort of sort that out and we can start putting that together so uh, I'll show you in a minute what they do, what they look like but uh, yeah so they come out really nice pleased with that um, gives it a nice little bit of elevation this this foot and it'll give us a bit more um, look like it'll be walking um, when we uh, put it all together so there we go so they're the two feet so let's move on and uh, get the stuff out for the legs. There we go, that is the uh, leg sections. So uh, the ball joints at the top and then the two legs either side, all the pistons down each side. So I'll just have a little quick look at these. So these are all marked up, uh, ankle, and these ones are the hip sections. So there's the separate leg the torso and the other leg and I've just laid them out so you can see them which is uh, makes it all easy 
So the instructions are fairly good. They're not too bad. You know, you've got a little bit of guesswork, but like I say, the sprues for the pistons are all labelled, so that's not too bad. Uh, I think the biggest problem is going to be um, setting the angles for the legs, how you want them. So um, that's going to be fun. Um, I'm going to start putting this to bit together and then um, I'll show you how it comes out. So I'll see you in a minute. And there we go. So the legs are all done. They're in position. The feet are on. So uh, it looks quite nice. Um, is it was really fiddly how I was mucking around with it there may be a lot easier way of positioning these legs um, but um, I got there in the end so uh, yeah so that looks pretty good um, there's the body let's just put the body on there we go so that'll be the body on there I'm thinking of having it slightly at an angle like that so he's sort of walking and um, yeah so it's coming along um, I've got a few more little pistons to go on around the legs so uh, and down the bottom here there's some pistons to go on down here and then there's the head that go there so I'm going to put them together and uh, I'll show you what's coming up right so it's uh, pretty much all done. I've got the legs, uh, the main torso, the head, and these are the protection for the legs, uh, which go on on down here. So I'm going to paint these separately, so I'm not going to glue those on. Um, the weapons that are over here, um, again, I'm going to paint them separately, so I'm not gluing those on. Now these are the uh, weapon platforms, so this is where I've, I've magnetised them. So I've just glued the magnets on the end of the ball joint there. So that's a ball joint that um, that's just a standard one. So that would fit in there. And then all I've done is I've got the position that I want. So um, the weapons are going to be down at a slight angle, like that. So I've positioned, positioned the joint. Where I wanted it and glued that in place and then I've uh, uh, flattened this off flattened this off and stuck my magnet in here like that and then um, stuck my magnet inside the, the platform here and then what I did just to help dry the super glue and sort of bond all that a bit more um, a little bit of the resin sort of filings I had I've just tucked in and put that in there so that's what that is it's uh, the resin filings in with the super glue just to try and make that a little bit stronger bond make that a flat platform in there so um, yeah so that's how I did those so and then the, um, the weapon platform they just where they're magnetized they just sit in there um, and you can have them at different angles whatever you want there um, I've got a sneaky feeling these magnets that I've got on this one um, they are strong enough but it doesn't stop it from swinging about very easy so maybe we might need to look at um, a stronger magnet on here I know they do some bigger ones so it would actually sort of come down a little bit further down this ball joint but they're fine so that would go that side um, that would fit one there and then that one will fit this side um, in there just like that so that's the uh, magnetize for the gun for the weapons and also I've put a magnet inside the main base as well to magnetize that to the legs so um, that's what I did for that I think that one is a 20 mil magnet and these ones I think are 15 mil magnets to go in here and they're a couple of mil thick so that's how I magnetize the body and the uh, and the weapons uh, the head um, obviously th this can come off and you can paint all these guys in here so that's not too bad um, I don't know I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet 
this main canopy comes off as well and you can paint the guys and the main room that's in there um, I really don't know this is quite a tight fit and I just I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet so um, but we'll see onto the legs so all the all the pistons are working all the pistons are here now um, are all on all around the ankles they're all on all the hydraulics are all on they look really cool so that worked really well um, overall it was a pretty nice model to make and um, I'm pleased that I've put it together so um, now it's sort of just figuring out now what bits I'm going to paint how I'm going to paint it what color scheme I'm going to paint it um, the instructions was okay they're not not the best in the world there's a couple of little bits um, this little ring here I can't find anywhere on the instructions but I've worked out that it fits in there and it's just like a collar for the ball holds this ball up cover, uh, covers that up so uh, so yeah so that's it all done with uh, with it so I've got a couple of little pieces that need to go on once um, I finalized where the position I'm putting everything in so I don't want to put those on yet but that's it that's the whole build really it went together well and um, yeah really pleased with it so if you like that and you want me to see a couple of videos or something some pictures when I've painted it let me know what you think let me know if you've built one before and we can um, discuss what we're going to do with the colors if you've got any idea i'm really sort of thinking that i'm going to go with my mauve or my purple um uh, scheme with it so it so it so it goes with all my others um but there we go i'm really happy with it so and uh there's a final look at the uh Warhound all built, all completed now. Looks really good. These weapons on her, they're all magnetized so I can swap them out. And uh, yeah, really pleased how that come out. And um, I'm going to start looking now to start painting this. I've uh, just ordered some more paint. I just realised I hadn't got enough colour that I want. So I've just ordered some more paint. So that'll be a, a few days, a week getting here. Um, and then I can start getting this painted. But yeah, it's lovely detail. Really nice model. Um, it's a really nice size. So uh, I'll show you some comparison in a sec with uh, some more footage. So let's just have a quick look at the uh, size comparison. If we zoom in here, we've got uh, one of the Primaris Hell Blasters down there. You can see him, and also a standard Marine. So you can see the size of this thing. It's really big. Now there we go. Uh, there's a one of the Primaris Hell Blasters that I've been painting. He's coming out really well. He's nice. And uh, there we go. Absolutely massive model. And I uh, can't wait to start painting it now. So uh, there we go. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Right, so welcome back to the Warhound build. Um, I've just gone through the build with everything there, how I did it all. Um, and this is the stuff that really and truthfully um, I've come across and I've made mistakes in this build. Um, and it wasn't until it's all together and glued that, that you can really see the mistakes and what I should have gone and the stages that I should have done them in. So... First of all, let's have a quick look at the legs. So, <clears throat> the legs, I, I had already seen how I wanted them, and I laid them out, and um, done them, I, they was all okay, with the feet all nice, and the body how I wanted it. Um, I wanted to put a little bit of a down angle down, so the body was at a slight angle, 
let's just get the body okay so the body goes on here and it's at a slight angle so that was the that's how I wanted it and that's how I had it in my head that I was gonna put this together so that was fine so then I put these uh, legs in position and because it's so difficult to hold them in position and glue them and everything else it was a little bit awkward so it was a little bit of put one in place glue it put the other one in place glue it and then that's it done so that was fine I'd marked on the top where I wanted the body at the angle so that was fine that all went together really well it wasn't until I put the body on and then put this flat on a surface and realized that it is really really front heavy so now those feet the way I've got the feet positioned um, there is a danger that this could actually fall forward I think it won't um, but it's close so that was a little bit of a mistake on my part I, I, I should have I don't know how you could actually build this and try out the angles that you want to, to, to find an angle that you want to get this right but there we go so that's a little bit of a heads up when you're doing your legs um, yes it looks nice that it's all posing forward the guns are coming forward and it looks like it's aiming at troops and stuff on the floor um, which is great but you need to position your legs so one leg is a lot more forward than the other like my legs is one forward one back but it's still not the forward leg is still not in front of the nose okay so that's that's one mistake there that I've made um, with that I don't think it's going to affect the model um, I'm going to be okay but it's close it could have easy have gone that it won't stand up so I've done that that's okay and that's working fine um, the next little bit I made a mistake of was when I was putting the body together um, with the sides and everything else I missed out the internal door not the biggest mistake in the world because I've just ground off the bit that slides in and I can just put that in now and glue that down and that's fine that's all right that I can work around that um, <clears throat> like I said before when, when you've worked if anyone's worked with resin before you know it fits where it touches there's a lot of there's a lot of pieces that are that are a little bit warped and on this size of resin I didn't think warming it up and trying to bend it was gonna affect it in at all so I didn't even try and attempt to bend this big chunks of resin at the back so it is slightly warped but not too bad it wasn't until I put this top section on and realized there are hatches that hang off this top section either side the one that's dropped, dropped on the floor so <clears throat> this side of the model fits really well fits brilliantly this side of the model doesn't so um, if I can show you there there is a small gap okay so I'm gonna have to just lift this hatch off a little bit move it over uh, and just make the best of it but that's okay if you're gluing this top section down and finishing your model and not painting or doing any detail in here if you wanted to be able to keep removing this top section um, I, th I don't know what you're gonna have to do with these ha these hatches because they're not gonna fit properly so if you get one of these models be aware of when you build this section these hatches and this top section need to all fit into place before you start gluing the big sections uh, again um, it's going to be a little bit difficult um, let's just have a look around this side of the model there is a, a small gap here where it didn't quite fit right which is no big deal we can put some green stuff in there fill that that's okay um, this side of the model there's no gap it fits perfect um, this side is the one with the hatch actually fits perfect as well so um, that fits fine and there's no problems there there's a little bit of a gap here again I can fill that down with a little bit of green stuff and you're not going to see that that's going to be fine um, across the back 
everything went on all okay the, the the vents and the grills they all went on okay and fine a little bit of filing down a little bit of cleaning up they went on really well um, so that's okay this top section is a little bit warped um, but again I think for the most part it's meant to come off it's meant to come off meant to come back go back on so you can paint the interior let me just take this off now I haven't stuck this down because I'm not sure what I want to do yet but you get a little bit of grill and then uh, a little bit of moulding that goes up into the roof that you can see through the grill um, so yeah so there's the inside of the model whether I'm going to do all this detail or whether I'm going to stick that shield on the top and just leave it and that's it done and I'm not going to worry about all the detail inside I don't know yet I'm going to see how it goes but overall a um, couple of little mistakes um, but it went together quite well it was a little bit fiddly in places but went together well it was been a good build I'm pleased I got on with it and got it done because it's been sat in the box now for ages and um, I've been umming and ahhing whether to build it, paint it, what am I going to do with it, should I just sell it and not bother doing it. So I was really happy with just getting it out of the box really, getting all the bits cleaned up. With all resin stuff, this is a big resin model and there's lots and lots of clean up to do. Um, you know, you do need the files, you do need to all this sort of edging stuff around all these trims. All this needed to be filed, it all needed to be cleaned. Uh, again, I'm not gluing these on yet because I'm going to airbrush all these up and put some colour on here and then glue it onto the model. But they all go on the legs, which look nice. Um, there's a couple, actually, in the box, there's a couple of variants of these legs. So I like the plainer one, to be honest, at the moment. I'm looking towards the plainer one. So they go on here for armament. They go on really well. And um, I'm going to just put them on at the end once I've painted all these up separately. So that's, a, that's that and then there's one more section for the body which goes there and again I'm not going to paint this, I'm not going to glue this on then paint it, I'm going to uh, paint it off the model and then do that. So yeah so that's the overall build and it came out really well. Uh, what's one last little bit is the, uh, the head. Again, the head can come off and you can paint all these guys. You can paint all these guys inside the, the head, the drivers and everything, which is probably what I will do. I will probably put the big shield on the top and glue that down. And I will just leave this section um, on so, I can, so it can be removed so you can see if you wanted the drivers. I can't really, you know, it's for me, I'm not taking it to shows. I'm not showing it or anything like that so for me it's maybe a bit like is it worth it is it is, is it pointless to put that on and then you're not going to take it off down down the game shop you're not going to take that to the club and go oh look what I've done look look how clever I am look because that comes off and you can see all the guys you're probably just going to leave that on and use it so I will see and see how I go with that but, uh, but yeah, so it went really to, really well together. So thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed that, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you uh, ring the bell for the notifications. Put some comments down below if you like the video. If you feel that I've left something out or I should have uh, described something a little bit better. I tried to break it all down the best I could. Um, and, and show you all the parts and then put, in the, parts, put the, the, the parts all together. So... Um, if you think that was all okay, make sure you give me a thumbs up and, and let me know. If you don't, let me know as well and I can always improve. So thanks for watching and um, I'll see you in the next one.